We're reading from our science workbook. We're reading page 5, unit 1, Sense Organs. Our senses keep us in touch with our surroundings and also with our bodies. We use our sense organs every day. Life can be difficult if we lose even one of them. One of the qualities which is common to all living things is that they are sensitive to their surroundings. Humans have five parts of the body which are involved in receiving information or picking up signals about their surroundings. These special parts, the skin, the tongue, the nose, the eyes and ears are called sense organs. Sense organs receive stimuli from the environment and send a stream of information along nerves to the brain. The brain interprets the stimuli and produces a suitable response to the information received. The skin. The body has a wonderful covering called the skin, which is tough and flexible. It is the largest external organ of the body. It is the largest external organ of the body. The skin protects the body and helps to keep it at the right temperature. It is an organ of touch which gives us information. For example, how hot, how hard, how sharp things are. In this way, the skin makes us aware of our surroundings and helps to protect us from injury. The skin is made up of two layers, the epidermis and the dermis. The epidermis is the outer layer of the skin. It is formed mainly of dead cells. Without this dead layer, your body would soon be dried out or be invaded by bacteria. The skin renews its outer surface all the time and quickly repairs itself when it is cut, scratched or burnt. Now we look, we have a diagram here. It's a cross section of the skin. So we can see from the top, we have pores. At the end of the pore, if we trace our fingers all the way down, we go to the sweat gland. So the pores are connected to the sweat glands. Then we have the hair follicle. And then at the end of the hair follicle, going all the way down, we'll see tube carrying sweat to the surface of the skin. Okay. Then we have nerve and we have the skin surface we have the epidermis that dead layer that's in brown and then we have fat cells they look like small um, clumps of grapes so we have the fat cells there and we have nerve endings and so on we turn from page five now to page six we're on page six the inner layer of the skin is called the dermis. It is much thicker and contains elastic fibers that make the skin stretchy. It also has hair follicles, blood vessels, and sensitive nerve endings as well as fat and sweat glands. These sweat glands in the skin make sweat from substances such as water and salts. They send sweat to the surface of the skin through little holes called pores. The skin, therefore, helps in excretion. And excretion is the removal of waste from the body. Among the structures of the dermis are thousands of sense organs. These consist of nerve endings and each carry its own message to the brain. The different messages are pain, touch, heat, cold, and pressure. There are more nerve endings in some parts of the body than in others. These areas are highly sensitive, for example, your fingertips and lips. Note, humans get their skin color mainly from a pigment called melanin, which is made just beneath the skin's surface. Some people also have keratin in their dermis. 
So everyone's skin is the same except for the amount of pigment it contains. The hair and nail are special growths of skin. Cleanliness, proper care, food, exercise, water, sunshine, and rest all contribute to keeping the skin healthy. Now, you're supposed to be doing the unit review on your own, but let's just go through number one to nine. It says, use the words in the list provided to complete the given sentences. We have pores, follicle, epidermis, dermis, nerves, skin, sweat glands, oil glands, and bacteria. So let's look at number one. The outer layer of the skin is called the, and that should be the, epidermis number two tiny holes in the surface of the skin are called pores they are called pores the shaft or tube in which the hair grows is known as the known as the follicle the follicle number four the tough flexible covering of the human body is the skin is the skin Messages are sent to the brain by the, by the nerves, by the nerves. Number six, the gland which makes and gives off perspiration is the sweat glands, the sweat glands. Number seven, tiny glands in the skin which make fat or oil are called oil glands, oil glands. Number eight, page seven. When the skin is cut, it may be invaded by, by what? By bacteria. Number nine, number nine. Fatty substances in the skin are found in the dermis, in the dermis. So you are going to continue from here and you are going to review your notes so that you know all about the sense organs. See you in the next episode.